Welcome to ACAD Guild. Today we will cover Angular 2 interview questions of testing. So let's start with our first question. What is automation testing? So automation testing is basically a practice of writing code and test our code and then run those tests in an automation manner. Imagine we have this function in our application. This is a simple subtract function which accept two parameter. It has one condition for if from num should not be less than two num. Imagine this function is executed when we reach through few screen after clicking few buttons. This is time consuming with normal processor. With automation test, we can execute this test in very less time and without launching application. This will save our time. With these tests, we can cover our full application code. Types of tests. So there are three types of tests, unit tests, integration test, and end-to-end -end tests. Unit test is used to test a component in isolation without external resources like the file system, database, API endpoints. In Angular world, if we have a component we can test that without its template, browser, or other resources. So what we can test in Angular component? We can test its function, which can return something or set anything. If a component is using service, we can use fake service. And if it's using a router, we can use fake router. Let's see one simple example. Here we have add to cart function, which add item to basket array. Now, if we need to show this basket list in HTML, we need to bind it. And now how we can test this binding because we can test only components part, not its template with unit tests. So for example, if we have in HTML, we have this ng for loop and which will iterate through basket object and it will show its name and its count. So, but with unit tests, we can't do that. So for that, we need to do some integration tests. So integration tests are the tests which test a component with external resources like database, external API, etc. In Angular world, we can test with its template. We can fake a service or fake a router. So to test this component, we need an Angular environment and its compiler class and along with its template. These kind of tests require little bit more code as compared to unit test. We need to deal with module, its dependency injection, etc. Now we can test our components with its templates, etc. End to end tests. So now we can test our component individually, right? So if a one component is communicating to other components, we can't test that with a simple unit test. We need to combine these tests. And if we need to test our application from end to end, we need to write end to end tests. Integrated test will test our individual component, but we do not know how it behaves when one component interact with other component. To test our whole application or one feature end to end, we need to write end to end tests. With these tests, we can simulate a user login to the application. We can click some links and navigate to different screens and test the flow of our application. And then we can check the HTML page working. Question number three, what are the fundamentals of tests? We need to make sure that tests are first class citizens. So we need to treat our test as we treat the other part of the application code. So we need to use our best practice and code guidelines which applies to other code as well. Like we need to write a clean code. We need to write a small functions with proper naming and single responsibility. Let's see the Angular environment for how to test the component. So I have created one Angular CLI project where we have one component which is having a title as app and one function which we will test. So in this component, we can write a test. To write a test, we need to create a class 
which describe our app component. So before running each test, we need to describe one function that is before each test and we need to configure our test batch, test bed, which will configure our testing module. So where we can declare our components and then we need to compile that components. After writing this before of each, we can then write our tests. So if you see in the first test, it is checking should create the app. So when this test bat create a component app component, it should create the app. So we are expecting here app to be truthy. That means it should return some object. So app component should be there. In the second test, we are checking should have a title app. So when we have this component app, it should have app dot title to be equal to app. So here in this test, we are writing, checking our app title in the test. In the third test, if you see should return title in a H1 tag. So now we have this picture and we have detect the changes. Now, after the compilation of that, we are checking the native element in the native element. We are expecting compiled query selector H1 text content to be equal to welcome to app. So let's try to test our function here. So for example, if we have one function add to cart, which accept one parameter like item. And if item is there, we need to add that to the basket array. So how to test that? So if you see here, I'm writing one test, it should add item to basket. So we need to follow the same kind things as we have done in other tests. We need to have a fixture. We have need to have one app component. So once we get the app component instance, we can access its function. So if you see here app dot add cart. So I'm passing one parameter with the name is equal to Apple and count is equal to three. And then I am expecting the length of app basket should increase to one. So let's run this test in the terminal. I'm adding ng serve ng test. So it will run our end to end test. It will take time. Let's see uh, in the app component, we have this item here. And for example, if we pass an item add to cart null, it should not add to that basket. So we have configured here a comma and one adjustment test. So if you see here, it's running four specs and zero failure. So if you see here, it's executing four of the tests and four, all four tests are passing. So let's do the negative testing. So for example, if I passing here null it, this test should fail. So let's change this test. Now it will run again. So if you see here, I'm not executing add to cart basket function and I'm still checking the basket length and I am expecting the basket length should be equal to one. But here, if you see here expected zero to be equal to one, I'm expected one, but I'm passing here equal to one. So this test fails. So let's revert this code and test one or one of other things. Let's duplicate this here we passing one element and in the next line I am passing null. Okay, and I expecting the length should be two, but I'm passing the null, right? So it should not add into the basket. Let's see. So if you see here, I'm expecting the length should be two, but it's returning me one because we are passing the null. So in the function, if you see here, 
we already have the if condition if item is having some value only then we need to add an element with this unit test we can test our individual functions or a component so if you need to write any component test you need to first inject its module and whatever the dependency you need you need to inject that in the testing environment if you see this first function before each write so the test bed configuration is similar like app module if you see here in the app module we are declaring our app component we are importing browser module and providers whatever the other things we are injecting here so same kind of things you can do that in the test web before each test so that we have that component instance applicable accessible in every test if you see here in the karma it also showing the failure it's showing the what kind of test and which test is failing so let's fix this test So let's expect only one again. So if I run this, so all tests are passing. 